welcome back everybody to another video so you've just installed pokemon pockets you've started building your own decks you've got some single player rewards done to open some packs and you built yourself a deck you're jumping into pvp and you've noticed a lot of people are playing cards like mewtwo ex venusaur ex blastoise ex starmine ex all these crazy cards which you don't have and you wonder how do you compete against them because ex cards are going to be a lot more rare than other cards they're more difficult to obtain and not everyone's going to have enough ex cards or ex cards from the right deck to build these top tier decks so what do you do well luckily there is a deck for you and this deck is actually i think very very underrated i've seen so few people playing this deck and i honestly think this is one of the best decks in the game right now if not even the best deck it has very few weaknesses other than water type and not just that but it has no ex's in this deck which means you don't need any super rare cards you can kind of put this deck together relatively easily it's a very affordable deck and it's a top tier deck it can do so much for those you know the ex cards are they're basically special versions of typical cards which have the ex tagged on them or the ex in the name the downside is that if your opponent ko's them they will get two points rather than just one point so the benefit of having no ex card in this deck other than making the deck more affordable is your opponent has to actually take out three of your cards rather than just two in order to win the game so that makes you a lot more resilient to your opponent's attacks so what is this deck all about you might ask it's a it's basically a blaine deck so for those who don't know what blaine does blaine is going to be a support card which allows you to essentially during the turn you activate him all your cards will have that are magma nine tails or Rapidash will all do 30 damage more when you attack, which means you can combine these cards together to get so much reach and it makes it very difficult for your opponent to predict what you can do. Sometimes your opponent might say, let's have a, I don't know, they have a 100 HP card on the board or maybe 110 or 120 and they go, ah, your biggest damage is only 90 from nine tails. Suddenly you drop a Blaine and you can do 120 damage or maybe you got a Rapidash on the board that can only do 40 damage and your opponent's got a 70 point card on the, or 70 HP card on the board and they go, okay, cool, I should be fine here. You drop a Blaine, 70 damage, boom, or there's a card that's 50 um, HP and you have a card that does 40 damage. You can drop something like a Giovanni, which is another card that increases your damage reach. And then you can do 50 damage because it also allows you to just get that extra bit of damage, which helps you one shot so many cards, which is very, very valuable because in Pokemon, if you don't one shot things, your opponent can retreat, they can back out of the board and it makes it more difficult to deal with things. Whereas if you can one shot things, it's done. You can put it behind you and then you're in a much better position. So what is this deck all about? Well, you basically run very cheap cards. So things like Pony which is going to have one energy 20 attack then when you evolve this you get rapid dash which is going to be one energy still 40 um, damage which is great and if you combine this with Blaine it's 70 damage if you combine this with Giovanni it's 50 damage and it only costs one energy and it's only a one retreat energy cost which makes it quite cheap um, then you have Magma now Magma is probably one of the cards that you can switch out it's not an important card stick if you want you can switch this out it's two energy for 50 damage which isn't amazing it has 80 HP which isn't amazing but again with Blaine it can do 80 damage with one hit so it's not a bad filler card it's definitely playable it's the one card in this deck that's kind of like you know a bit on the fence about but it is still definitely going to be valuable when you have the blaine with it then we have velprix velprix itself is going to be the, the card isn't super important it's the nine tails that you really want here and the nine tails is going to basically allow you to do 90 damage obviously the downside is going to be that it needs two energy and also every time you attack you lose one energy but because cards in this deck don't require a whole lot of energy you don't really mind spending an energy every turn to feed the nine tails attack because there's not really a whole lot else for you to use that energy on which means this can do 90 damage and the great thing about this card especially is when you combine it with blaine it can do 120 damage which means it can even one shot a pikachu let's say your opponent's pikachu ex on the board obviously a very strong card which has exactly 120 hp nine tails can one shot that which is huge in that matchup obviously when you combine it with things like for example blaine you can one shot a, a card with 100 hp um maybe someone's got a i don't know wheezing on the board with 110 hp you can one shot it as well with nine tails and blaine the one shot potential in this deck is huge and combining all these various sources of damage gives you so much reach to deal with so many threats the only matchup that i find is a little bit difficult is going to be water but other than water i think this deck is going to have pretty favorable matchups across the board now we do play a one x speed usually i like to run two but because this deck is so cheap there's not really a whole lot to use your energy on most attacks here are going to be one or two energy i don't feel like i need that extra energy from this x speed as much as i do in other decks it's still nice to have as a one off but we're only running one obviously being able to peel things up with potions is always going to be quite valuable pokeball and professor research is going to be super important for your deck sabrina i kind of would like to run two sabrinas but it's kind of difficult to fit them in i also would like to have a second giovanni but again it's not easy to put everything in this is the way i've got it you can feel free to maybe change one or two of these special cards maybe you can take out an x speed put in an extra giovanni or take out one of the potions put in an extra sabrina or something like that feel free to change that up but these pokemon i'm pretty confident on this deck does very very well you can deal with mewtwo decks quite easily because this deck it's a very high tempo deck you can start doing a lot of damage very quickly on which means your opponents don't have much 
time to set up their big threats. You can often end the game before things get out of control. The only downside, obviously, is Water Water is a pretty popular deck sometimes. You know, the deck with Articuno and Starmin can be tough for this deck because obviously Water is going to do extra damage against Fire, so that's going to be a downside. But if you're not facing too much Water, if you're facing mostly, I don't know, Grass or Psychic or Electric, this deck is going to absolutely steamroll. It's a very strong deck, and I highly recommend you guys give this try because I'm not really seeing many people play this deck, and I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand why. I think this is one of the best decks in the game. Definitely give this deck a try. Let's get in some gameplay, though, and see how the deck performs in action. Oh, boy. Water versus fire. Come on, why am I keep getting bad type matchups? I hope they don't get the missed out. They're playing the full-on all-in... Oh, God. Please no high roll. Please no misty high rolling. Please? Oh, God, here we go. Here we go, chat. Thank God. Okay, no point using Blaine because it still doesn't kill in one shot, so we do it this way. You can do 60 damage this next turn though. Okay, so this is going to do now 70 damage to this. How do I survive attack of this? I can't, right? But it's fine. Don't need to survive attacks. We could take this out next turn with Rapidash, and there we went. So he will take out my Nine Tails of the Articuno, but then this will take him out. Nice. So third event in a row. Yeah, they're pumping out events like crazy. Which is a good thing. I hope they can keep it up. Okay, so they got Gyarados out. Now, how are they going to get enough damage to work with this? Or is this just supposed to stall while they pump up their Articuno or something? Why do I keep getting bad matchups? Now I'm against water again. Come on. Uh, then we will probably put fire here just to retreat it though. And then get this back out. Problem is that Articuno is set up, which is kind of scary. 80 damage can one shot my magma. Okay. So this is going to die no matter what I do. But he's gonna be careful that if he keeps this here. I'm about to kill you. I used to kind of retreat this one for that. So he keeps this out. I think he loses here, doesn't he? Then you have to retreat that for uh, Takuno and stall. Because now he just loses. And I really like this um, Blaine deck. It's so good. You may beat bad matchups. Nice. Okay, we get correct coin, which is nice. The Pikachu EX and Zapdos EX. Sure. We have two professors, which is nice. Um. We need to get um, the Vulprix. Is Magma really needed? You don't really need Magma, no. You can cut it if you want. Okay, we got a Vulprix. It's good. Okay, we got another Ponyta. So 
So next turn we can take out the Zapdos. The Pikachu is a little bit energy starved. Well, not energy starved, but like electric starved, should I say? Eh, not that badly, I guess. We could one shot their Pikachu, right? So we nine tails here. Play this. Play Blaine. And then Pikachu goes bye bye immediately. Pikachu one shot! Boom! There we go. And that should be game set and match. Bye bye, Mr. Opponent. You got flamethrowed. Flamethrowed. Flamethrew. Whatever. You know what I mean. Articuna. Ugh, oh, not water again. Ah, uh, type with some misty high rolling. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, luckily they have misty for now. I need to draw Blaine. Or Giovanni, so I can one shot them with nine tails. Come on, give me the things. Give me the things, please. Chat, can we all just like place RNG for, for a Blaine or a Giovanni, please? Honestly, you're gonna help me out yet, Miss Burn. That actually was I'm fine with that. That is a terrible red card. Did <laughs> you just sign your own death warrant? Well done. You should not have done that, Mr. Opponent. You should not have done that. I'd prefer to do a Giovanni though, since it's more efficient, but Blaine's still fine. Kaboom! Now it all comes down to if they can high roll Misty. If they high roll Misty, then we're kind of screwed. Please, no Misty high roll. I'm asking nicely. Don't do it. Please. <laughs> what the? Why are you doing this? Dude, you're helping me out when you play these red cards. You're literally sabotaging yourself. Okay, luckily for you, you didn't give me any more blames, but whatever. Oh shit, if they actually get heads here, I think I lose. It's a 50-50. I know. No, 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 They got a heads! Damn, now they can do their big attack. Oh no, chat. I can't one-shot it next turn. I need to one-shot it and I can't. Oh. I only had one more energy. Wait, okay, actually, wait, no, 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 I can win, I can win, I can win. If Vulprix gets a heads, if I, get, if I get my own coin flip here, they can't attack next turn, then I can win. I can win here. It is possible. I just need a I need a heads here. I need a heads really badly. Please heads. Please heads. Please heads. Please, 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 please. Come on. Yes, we got heads. Poggers, let's go. Okay, so they can't attack, then I just go nine tails next turn, I win. Okay, win. Nice. That Vulprix ability was actually very clutch. Oh, get smacked. Coin flip gaming. I don't know if we're any good at evolutions right now. Um, they're playing Pikachu. They're probably playing Raichu, right? I would assume. Why would you evolve the Electrode before you... That's kind of weird. You should use the Electrode to block a Vulprix later. First, the Electrode do the 20 damage. Oh, he wants to get the, the free retreat, I guess. Why, though? I need an evolution chain here. Okay, we at least get that. But for now, I still can't do anything.
So Electra's gonna come forward next turn and take out this um rapid uh this bolt bricks, which is bad for me. Oh, actually, it isn't the energy board, but Pikachu EX can. It's a little bit concerning. If I can get a Rapidash, though, not a Rapidash, if I can get a Nine Tails, I can one shot the EX Pikachu, which is nice. Hmm. Let's see. A hey, Nine Tails, Giovanni. Is concerning. Very concerning. Okay. That's fine. So what we do here is we oh we get the nine tails. That's huge. So we potion this up. Then we use Giovanni one shot the Pikachu. Oh no, we can't one shot Pikachu. Never mind. Forget what I said. In that case, we do this. So we one shot the Pikachu. And then if they bring the Pikachu EX out, I can also one-shot that, so they gotta be careful. They gotta be very, very careful, yeah. Okay, they do bring the Pikachu EX back out. Interesting. Um, that's fine. So we just Giovanni this and we win. This is why I like a Blaine deck so much. It's such a fun deck to play and it's also just... You can do so much with it. I love playing Blaine. Bye bye Pikachu. See you later! So we up against another electric deck. They have Zapdos non-EX though, which is... Not optimal. <laughs> so Blaine one shots this, that's nice. One shot that, and then they're kind of screwed, right? That was a big top deck. Okay, so they got Voltorb now. We're looking for Nine Tails. We should have put the energy on the Vulpix if we draw the Nine Tails. If we don't draw the Nine Tails, then the energy is better used on the Magmar. I guess the energy is better used on the Magmar. Period. If we draw another Blaine, they're in a very bad spot. This draws me another Pony Eater, right? And punch! So their Electrode can do 70 damage. If they use a uh, um, Giovanni, they can one shot my Magma. I mean, I think that's fine. Unless they have another heal that doesn't do anything. Okay, they do have the Giovanni. I guess it does do something because now my, my Rapidash can't one-shot them unless I draw my either second. Uh, that's a little bit bad for me, I guess. <clears throat> can also one-shot this. Press his research. Okay, give me something nice, please. 
Potion at least keeps us out of range. Still not ideal, but it's fine. Problem is EX Pikachu is ready to go now. If I can draw nine tails, I can one shot the Pikachu EX with a uh, Blaine as well. But the problem is if I don't draw it, then I'm gonna have a big problem because this is gonna be too much for me to kill. Hmm. Otherwise, this Pikachu one shots my nine tails. Otherwise, I need Blaine here. I suppose I could pull the, pull the Rapidash out, let the Rapidash chip away at the Pikachu, and then hopefully the Nine Tails kill. But then I lose to Sabrina, though. Sabrina then is a big problem. All right. Well, if they have Sabrina, we lose. Unless I retreat now and slow them down, go for a Vulprix, but that just stalls. And that's a 50-50 of stalling. I don't know, what's the chance of having Sabrina? It's, they've already used one Sabrina, so the chance of having a second Sabrina isn't that high. But I also lose to a second Giovanni too. Second Giovanni also hurts here. Potion. See, the problem with the potion now... I mean, actually, no, potion's fine. We have Giovanni. Potion's fine. We don't care about the potion. I think it's follow. I'm Mez, uh, Mezzino. That's perfectly fine for me. So now we just go zoop. Zoop. Uh, zoop. And kapow! Are you playing TCP on PC? Um, it's an emulator. Moo Moo player. I am being an emulator gamer. So anyway, that is the deck. Like I said, I think this is probably one of the strongest decks right now and nobody's playing. So get in now while you still can before this deck catches on. I think this deck is really great. If you do like the video and you like the deck, please let me know in the comment section below what you think. How you like the deck if you're playing it, if you tried it out. Let me know how it's doing for you. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys again next time. Take care, everyone, and bye-bye.